Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again. That's for art. I'm gonna take these off so the glass doesn't reflect. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something uh, that I said last night about I would rather not be reading this report and be painting. And I that chewed at my brain all day long, and I thought, you know what? Thomas Ackerman is right. Tom is a hundred percent right. Art matters. It matters that I finish this piece of artwork and not that I wait for Thanksgiving to do it. Uh, one of the things that has happened how in my life anyways, is I self reflect and modify my behavior to like nurture myself because I lived in an anti nurture environment for, I don't know, the first 30 years of my life, frankly. And instead of killing myself, I decided to heal myself. And so this is one of the things I was thinking about this because we have sparks inside of us with gifts to give. And it's like we're the when they say we're the light of the light, like I'm not some holy I guess I was I was. I thought that I needed that whole thing to get to God. For me, I mean, I'm just going to have full disclosure here. I'm somewhat of like, I guess, the Buddhist attitude. Uh, I think all of these, quote, Western holy books are all one book. They all base off of Judaism. In fact, they all base off of Egyptian mythology. It's all mythology. There's a great book called Sacred Contracts by Carolyn Meese. Uh, she identifies that every single human culture has these same rituals I'm not against any of it as long as we treat each other with kindness and it is time to end the warring planet because our planet needs us to love it and our planet needs us to nurture it we need to nurture ourselves so when I heard myself last night say uh, I would rather not be doing this and I thought you know what that's actually not true I do want to read this to you I don't know how much more of this I can take frankly. I'm going to start doing a lot more painting. Like this weekend, I'm going to put artwork in my life on a regular basis like I used to um, before I this consumed my life. Because this, this stopped everything. When I found out about Fukushima, and frankly, since I've been doing the radio show, it's like phew, unpeeling this onion. And I'm like, holy Huck. It is urgent, man. This is like, it's beyond urgent. It's like we're toast. Guy McPherson is completely right, man. We are toast unless, boom, we have some miracle idea that's going to come out of a brain. And you know how that's going to happen? Through artwork. Thomas Ackerman is 100% right. Art matters. It's not just do your artwork. Allow yourself to aspire. Allow yourself to inspire. That's what I'm going to do with myself. I'm going to do my artwork. I'm going to read this article, but I'm going to put read less of the article instead of 20 minutes. Because when I do a 15, 20 minute video, it still takes me an hour. And, you know, I have maybe a couple hours a week to paint, but I'm going to take that. And I'm going to, I'm going to allow that in my life. Let me put it to you that way. Because... And I encourage everybody else to figure out something like this. Make your music. We need songs, folks. We need songs to sing. Like, Debbie, I love your song. I, I actually am practicing uh, that song that Debbie Garrett wrote called, uh, Will Your Children Ever See Dolphins? It's so cute. Oh, my God. This is children's children. Will my ch children's children ever see a dolphin? And the reality is, Probably not. In fact, they may not see life if we don't get the fuck off of our asses. I mean, I know I have a sense of urgency about it, but you know what? I'm not saying protest in the street. I'm saying express your artwork. We need to put our ideas into science and art. Higher minds, higher thoughts. Because that's the only thing that's going to save us. We know we need to go back to the earth. The system, we are collapsing with the system. Now, I don't know if many of you know this, but we are going to have a methane time bubble. Like, 
boop, we're, there's like 900 gigatons of methane bubbling, about to bubble up from Russia within the next, I don't know, five or 600 years or something. Very narrow time frame. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think about my great, great grandchildren. So, you know, and when that happens, it's bye bye earth, you catch on fire. Like, that's kind of what's going to happen. And uh, in the meantime, I think that maybe we can reverse the nuclear pollution so that we could live here without having extreme, painful human lives. Uh, and I reject the idea of Bill Gates and the elitists who think they need to biotech humanity to save us. I think we need to look to Mother Earth and save Mother Earth. The earth has everything. Do you know that mushrooms are like little microbes? They can like figure things out and heal. They're like computers. There's so much we don't know. Uh, the Western world has been so incorrect in its philosophies for so long. It's just like Caligula. Caligula gets worse and worse along with technology, right? I reject that plan. And frankly, this is why I really have to say I admire uh, Laura Magdalene Eisenhower, who has her own channel. I think it's Gaia. I forget the name of her website. But really, she talks about the feminine coming back into the planet, and I think that is correct. It is going to happen. Like, it's coming, and I do not... I am not willing to accept that humanity and all life on this planet is going to end. I think that what we need is this. We need artwork. We need ideas. We need stories. We need dreamers. We need people to come up with brilliant ideas and just things that you couldn't even imagine that would fix it. I mean, art will work. Thomas is right. Artwork matters. Artwork really, really, really matters. So hats off to you, Thomas Ackerman. Thank you for helping me understand that. Now I really grasp at what you mean. And uh, as a person devoted to the higher elements of life and really aspire to be a true human being and live in harmony with our earth and all of our brothers and sisters and protect the children and protect the elders, and all of our plants and our waters and everything. Uh, I'm going to rededicate myself to completing more of my artwork. I do write poetry, but I am not willing to share my poetry with people, to be honest. <laughs> it's a bit too personal. Uh, there's a few I could dig up probably and share, though. Um, Anyways, that's what I wanted to say, and I wanted to say thank you, Thomas. Let me put my glasses on because it's weird. I can't see myself on this video. I've mentioned that a few times. So when I can't see myself, I feel like you can't see me either. <laughs> but now we can both see each other. So uh, put your courage feet on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this reading and another thing, and I'm probably only going to read for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, last night I made an effort not to interrupt it, and I think I'm just going to, like, I spit nails like this stuff is very angry for me that we this is our what they have allowed this is what elected officials who people we entrusted with us uh, with our funds with our children's safety with just our belief that they were taking care of it it it's not just gross negligence it's it's grotesquely unkind and horrific and for me as an American it does not speak to anything our preamble talks about you know, for the good and for the benefit of everybody, for the will of the people, for the goodwill of the people. This was bad will. So anyways, ciao. Put your courage feet on. Uh, do smart work, man. <laughs> ciao.